people have jumped in my window. Yeah. Found a few decent bulls this morning. One broken up bull. Nothing really that interesting at this point. Make some water. Make some food. Some breakfast skilly. Just peek over this edge. Found a few decent bulls this morning. One broken up bull. Nothing really that I'm interested in at this point. So I'm gonna go hike back up this ridge. It's a spot where, I mean, the country's really big and open, but I can get to some vantage points and last distances. Really not putting myself into position as much as just seeing a ton of country miles and miles so glassing everything up see what I see take some inventory hopefully lay some eyes on some some more bulls I've heard rumor that there's a big bull up here or two and I like to chase rumors every once in a while I just pop over and take a peek into each of these draws a little clarification when I say I'm going up the ridge I'm really not going up a ridge, I go up the side of the ridge. So that I'm not skyline. So I'm going up the ridge, but I'm not going up the ridge. Just so you know. Beautiful country. like a really nice bull herd so I just got off the mountain I'm gonna head over there and see if I can get to a vantage where I can get a closer look before going up the mountain that was kind of my intention with this spot right here just get up see a ton of country and um, then make a move because I didn't have to work too hard so now I got plenty of time in the day it's about 11 o'clock now so I've got plenty of time in the day to get down to the truck, get out, and get back up on the bowl, hopefully. So we'll see. Check in with you here in a bit when I get a little closer look. I gotta get a quick bite to eat, some lunch here, before I get up, get going strong on the mountain. So, make some water, make some food. We'll breakfast skilly and then beat feet. Little updating. So I drove around and back on the side of the valley where I spotted these elk this morning. And the glass from the bottom, couldn't see them where they were at. So I'm figuring that they moved around into the timber, into the shade. So. But until I know exactly what the wind's doing up top, I'm making a wide loop. Like I can see where they're at here, but I'm making a wide loop just to be cautious of the wind. Because down in these little valley, little canyons and stuff, like it can really be swirling, but it's it's going up with the thermal. So I'm gonna come up here, work my way all the way around, come around and just kind of stay back 
back here on this knob. I'll kind of stay back here and watch all this until I can get good and certain which way the wind is going. And then as the evening comes, it should be coming down valley, which the major valley is there and, and over here. So it should be coming down valley and then I'll move over a little closer if I don't see them anywhere here. Move over a little closer to the timber just before dark. Either shoot one and take it out the bottom or sit there till dark and go out the bottom. So that's the plan, that's the update. It should be right up in here somewhere. Just gonna sit right down here. I haven't found the elk yet, but I did just find an absolute ancient ram skull. Look at that. That's awesome. Lower jaw, her jaw, probably upper jaw. That's really cool. And I don't know how to get that off the mountain without it being. Without destroying it. That's, that is really cool.
some Packers tomorrow. We'll see. I was just about ready to give up. I hadn't seen them down here where I saw them this morning. I actually saw them right down here this morning. Thought they'd feed over into the timber. So I was actually coming up to the top because I know I've got cell coverage up here at the top. And I was going to call Boyd and just chit chat then before I headed down the mountain. Look down and there, just right down there next to some springs. Freaking a ton of cows, big bull. And uh, sit there and watch them for a little bit. I was like, man, should I pass? Should I kill him? Finally, I was like, you know what? He's a good bull. I'd be happy with him for the last day. He's a stud. He's heavy. I think, anyway. I am above him, so <laughs> he could be a dink. I don't know. Either case, 
put the hammer to him. So I am gonna continue up here and text Boyd that I got service. And then I've got about an hour of daylight here. Hopefully I can go down and get him broke apart, stash him in the willows there, take a load down. And then uh, maybe call in some, some packers. Call in the recruits tomorrow. Well, didn't get cell coverage up to the top, so I'm gonna circle back around below this rim rock where they're at. Find a way down to them and then get to work. Hopefully I can find a good spot to go down there. Not having to go all the way down already. That would suck. Let me look right here. I found a spot to go through, I think. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we can make this happen. I'll put my camera away. There he is. He's still there. No posing. <laughs> He's in a good spot for some photos. Quick shots. Just barely missed the sun. The sun would have been on his rack. Awesome. But I ain't dragging it. He's not going to move. Except in pieces. Ta-da! Gotta love it. Long fronts. I mean... Decent thirds, which you don't see here very often. Decent swords, long swords. The backs, definitely the fronts is his, his strong point. Just a stud of a bull. Get him tagged up and get him out of here. Take a couple quick picks and oh, I'm happy. Super good fronts. I mean, a guy could hunt. You could hunt for the whole week that I've got and not find a better bull than that. So, super pleased with him. I'm glad I took him because I, I got to look at the other one after after they bumped out, and he definitely was not even close to this guy. So, this guy is a stud. His fronts are awesome. I mean, his fronts are just dude. Just a cool bull. Cool, cool bull. He's a big bodied sucker. All right. Chow some food and get him taken apart.
All right, I'm gonna put my camera away, but there's the back straps and tenderloins. Got the quarters laying here, four quarters. The neck meat in the bag. Put this in the game bags and get out of here. Somewhere, somehow, I lost my trekking poles. Guess I'll find them tomorrow. I think I had them while I shot my elk, so I just go up there, backtrack, find them tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to having them tonight, but not so. I need like four more inches on these straps. Here's my cavalry, good old Wrangler Williams. Put me to work. Darn right. You said uh, you said that you were willing, so. Oh yeah. I took advantage of that in a hurry. We'll let him pack some quarters. <laughs> See these young savages, you know? Us little fat guys, why do we want to work so hard when we got savages like that that are willing? Yep, yeah, anything to help out a friend. I hope that when I kill mine in a couple of weeks. <laughs> You're gonna be back, right? Yeah, it's an only a nine hour drive. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> That's the catch for me helping, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Figuring out how to get this much meat to fit in here. You could have figured it out, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, you'll figure it out for yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna pack a little, little monster head and a quarter of my own. Got my dad's ski poles. I was whining and complaining about Losing my trekking poles and GoPro on the mountain yesterday. So dad said, well, I got some walking sticks. Nice, nice blue ski poles here, dad. But they'll work. All right, dude, you ready to... Let's do it. Make short work of this grind. All downhill. It is actually. Except for that saddle right there, that's the only uphill. That we're home free. All right, camera's going away, so we'll catch you, you all at the bottom. We got to have proof that we made it. It's been a sweet trip. I'm glad it's over, but I'm not glad it's over. I'm glad it's over.